क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस रिएक्शन वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट इज व्हाट इज द एक्शन ऑफ दैट इज then along with that of that is concentrated hcl on nitroalkane and now in this topic we are going to talk about what is the reaction of nitroalkane with zinc in presence of nh4cl that is ammonium chloride so now let us understand what is the reaction and what is the product that we could get so friends in this topic we are going to talk about the reaction of nitroalkane with zinc in presence of ammonium chloride so based on that we have a general reaction and the general reaction could be given as in this form that is suppose if we have considered that is r no2 that is nothing but nitroalkane and suppose if we are reacting it with zinc and that also in presence of that is nh4 cl so the reaction proceeds in such a manner that is the nitroalkane it will react with the metal and the medium that we should sustain is nothing but a neutral medium that is the reason that we are using nh4 cl here we have not used an acidic condition neither we have used a basic condition so therefore whenever zinc will react with nh4cl obviously it will produce nascent hydrogen and because of that nascent hydrogen actually now here basically the nascent hydrogen that would be produced here it is nothing but four moles of nascent hydrogen so unlike the previous reaction here the product that it will be very much different for example here basically r no2 it will react with four moles of nascent hydrogen so as to produce the product is nothing but r nh oh along with that of the by product will be water that is h2 so here even this is a reduction process but the thing is this r no2 is not been completely converted into an amine group in fact the product that we have got over here is nothing known as an alkyl hydroxyl amine here the end represents that is this hydroxyl group as well as this alkyl group is attached directly to the nitrogen and that's the reason the name is an alkyl hydroxyl amine so this is nothing but this is the general reaction and now let me give you an example so that we could understand this reaction very much better suppose if we are considering the example that is ch3 ch2 no2 this is known as nitroalkane and suppose if this nitroalkane is reacting with zinc that also in presence of that is nh4cl and obviously there will be a production of nascent hydrogens and this four moles of nascent hydrogen obviously it will try to help to convert this no2 group into an hydroxyl amine so that's the reason that suppose the product that is what we are going to write is nothing but ch3 ch2 here it will be nh oh along with that of the byproduct that will be nothing but water so the product that we have got over here is as we can observe that is on this nitrogen there is an oh group or there is an hydroxyl group that is been attached and also on the nitrogen atom there is basically an ethyl or an alkyl group is attached so therefore the name of this compound that is what we will get after the reaction of zinc with nitroalkane is nothing but the name is n and the thing is hydroxyl group is attached over here so therefore we could write it over here as n hydroxyl this is ethane and this is amine so the name is n hydroxyl ethane amine so this was the thing but just an example related to the general reaction and this is how basically we can convert a nitroalkane into n hydroxyl alkyl amine so that's it this is what i want to discuss about so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much